How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Ron. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we made our way over to Fuchsia City and now that we have arrived, we will be going ahead and entering one of Kanto's most notable landmarks and that is the Safari Zone. It is home to many numerous wild and rare Pokemon and of course it holds one of the new teammates that we will be capturing in today's episode. Yes guys, I promise a lot more excitement today. So we will go ahead and start entering. This may take up a majority of our time. Um, I, depending on how fast and how fast I can do things. Um, notable things about the Safari Zone. Um, one, it is technically a game if you want to call it like that. The Safari Zone is meant for you to catch many Pokemon that you can. Um, as this gentleman might explain a little bit more. For just 500 Pokedollars, you can play the Safari game. You can roam the wide open Safari and catch what you like. What you like to play. Alright, that'll be 500. And with, you can only use these special kind of Pokeballs, which are Safari Balls. So he did kind of already explain a little bit. Um, this, this is the Safari game. So in the Safari Zone, you are welcome to catch any Pokemon you encounter here. There are many that you will not be able to encounter otherwise. And just to show you right here on the top left that you, for you guys, oh, yeah, right there, the top left will indicate how many steps you're allowed before the time runs out. It is not time-based, it is step-based. So keep that in mind. You want to try to do as little as you can. So our goal is to go ahead and make it to the final area. So I will admit there are many Pokemon here that you can't catch as early as like the first two, first gym, second gym, but there are some Pokemon that can only be encountered here. And one of them in our case um, can really only be encountered here. When we get to it, I'll go ahead and mention it. Um, I'm just going to catch some of these Pokemon just to help my Pokedex. It's not really required, um, but you know, I might as well catch them since you know, now is a better time than any, although I will speed up this process just a little bit. There we go. It shouldn't be that hard to catch a Nidorante, though. It really shouldn't be that hard. Um, you are given 30 Pokeballs, which means you are only given 30 chances to try to catch any Pokemon that you see. Um, some, <laughs> I will admit, there are certain Pokemon here that will take a quite amount of time to capture. And by the quite amount of time, I mean <laughs> you're going to be spending lots of Pokedollars if you are not lucky. Uh, I will say the most notable ones that are rare to catch um, are... Pretty much scattered in the three total areas. Alright, execute. Oh, not the Pokemon I want. So the most notable you can find here when you're fishing is Dratini. It is actually the only place other than the game corner that you can find this Pokemon at. And of course we all know Dratini evolves into the final mythical legendary, um, pseudo legendary dragon type Pokemon, Dragonite. One that we all know fair well, even for those not familiar with the game I'm going to assume. So if you're able to, go ahead and catch that. It is, certainly will be a nice Pokemon to add to your team. Um, I've used Dratini enough times in other playthroughs myself to know that I can be fine without it, so I'm not going to go ahead and add it to my team. Um, but still, doesn't mean it's not a great poke. Go ahead and use it if you want to. Um, there are also lots of items you can find throughout the Safari Zone, and there's a lot of houses. Um, one thing that you should do while you're at the Safari Zone first thing, and something you are required to do to proceed further in the game, is make it to the say, to the final area house, the final house, I forget what it's called, it's one of those things. You make your way over there and you will receive a prized item that- oh, and it ran. Dang. Let me throw a rock. Is it gonna run away if I throw it? No, okay. I forget how these works. Oh, I think the rock helped. I think if you throw a rock, its chances of going away increases, but it does give you a better chance of catching it, I think. I don't remember. And I think the food does the opposite, where it increases the Pokemon's chances of staying in battle, but it decreases the chances of catching it, I think. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not sure, because I don't really care about that part. I never really bothered to test it, or even read the information myself. Uh, I will be honest, I kind of forget where I'm supposed to go, so I am kind of purposely speeding through some of this. I don't think I'm supposed to go there. So yeah, this is just going to be a lot of wild encounters. I may have to come back a second time. No, I, I'm thinking I'm supposed to, yeah, I'm supposed to go up. I will probably have to end up coming back a second time just because um, I don't think I'm going to be even able to catch, find the Pokemon that I need right away. It doesn't look like I am. Or at least if I am, I'm not doing it right. Well, oh, I found a Quick Claw! That's so cool. That's going to be very convenient for... That's a good held item. So if you're not familiar, the Quick Claw does have a 10% chance, I believe, of letting your Pokemon strike first, regardless of anything else. So that is something I definitely would like to have. Oh, wow, caught Nidoran... Nidorino. Nice. Don't even have Nidoran Mail, though. That's pretty funny. Whatever, whatever adds to the Pokedex. May be helpful for the items, but... Is it this way? No, it's not this way. I still have to go up. Uh, I think... I still have to understand. I think I should still be fine. 
Also, I do want to mention one thing. When I first did this, when I did the Safari Zone, when I first played this, not like in Leaf Green but or Fire Red, but when I did this like the very first time, I still wouldn't need that. And my first ever time playing this, I got lost in the Safari Zone so many times I didn't know where to go. I, it didn't take till like a long couple months later when I looked at a game guide on how to do it because I was just super lost. Like, obviously someone should be able to figure it out after doing it enough times, but you know, don't have big... Ah, Chansey! It's like a 1% chance of encountering it, and I'm not gonna catch it! I already know I'm not! Oh, so close! It is late though! Oh, that would have been so nice. I probably still would not added it to my team, but that would have been amazing! Literally, Chansey has like a 1% chance of encountering it in this area. And its chance of catching it is super rare. Oh my god, but Chansey is a very great po- Oh, that's the item, the gold teeth, that's the item we need. That is the item you need to get to progress further in the game. We need that, and then the, once we go over to that house- Oh, double team, not really a useful team for me, but that's fine. And once we enter this house, we can go ahead and speak with the gentleman here for the grand prize, and that is- Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. But congratulations, you have won. So we received HM3 from the attendant. So HM3 is Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across waters using it. And this HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. That is true. We already attained HM3 for Surf. And with the item that we just found, it'll help us obtain the next HM. Um, we still have some more. Oh, yeah, we have 70 steps. We're pretty much almost done. Um, definitely gonna have to come back because we obviously haven't even seen the partner that I'm trying to catch. We did see Chansey, though. Out of all the Pokemon we could have met, we didn't find the Pokemon that I was trying to capture for our journey, but yet we came across Chansey of all Pokemon. Literally of all the Pokemon we could have came across. We come across a Chansey. Like, you can't explain this kind of thing. You just can't. There it is! There it is! There it is! After, like, what, only two more steps left? It is Rhyhorn! That is gonna be our next companion, ladies and gents. Let's see if I can even catch it successfully, though. Um, gonna hope... Uh, it's... Shouldn't be too difficult to catch, I believe. Uh, don't run away. Oh, it's watching me carefully. Okay, it's not gonna try. Don't do it to me. Come on. After this, I have to pay another five hundred dollars just to get back in and pay. Come on, come on. Don't do this to me, Ryor. Don't do this to me. We did it. We did it! We captured our penultimate partner, Rhyhorn, the ground and rock type Pokemon. Very great. Its massive bones are a thousand times harder than a human bones. It ta its tackle can knock a semi trailer flying. Dang, that's how you know it's a bulldozer. Alright, of course I'm gonna nickname it again. Not good, so it doesn't matter. Don't, don't, don't get mad at me for naming my bad names with these pokes. But I am gonna name it Horns because I couldn't think of anything more creative than that. So, sh 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 don't, don't give me all that sass. Oh, but it was transferred to the. Yeah. It was probably about to happen. Uh, only six steps. Can I find anything in six steps? Oh, another Generan female. Okay, no, I don't really care. I'm gonna have to check back and see what it... This is probably the last. Yep. Ding dong. Time's up. Your safari game is over. Aw, oh, unfortunate. Did you catch your fair share? Yes, I did. I even came across Chansey, but I couldn't even try to catch it. This game is actually broken. Uh, well, it's not broken. It's just not fair. Oh, let me go ahead and buy some items. I don't know why, out of nowhere, I just decided to buy some items, but I kind of do need some. Is there any Ultra Ball? I'll go ahead and take eight. Don't really need that many, but I'm still going to bring them. Oh, five. Yeah, I definitely need more of these. Still low on money, so I better be careful. Um, I'll, I'll, st I'll stick with that. But I do want to head back to my PC box and see if that horns is going to be any good. And by any good, I mean have at least good, a decent nature. So to elaborate a little bit more on Horns, he is going to be the Doug Trio replacement. Um, so unfortunately, Doug Trio or my boy Trio's journey is going to end here. Unfortunately, he was great. He did help us a lot in Gym Three, but other than that, he was just a very useful Pokemon for us on our journey. His services will be surely condemned and will be remembered forever. Um, let me go ahead and take him up from the party, and along with all the other Pokemon that I caught at the Safari Zone. Very close too. Um, sorry, Dig Dig. 
Love you, boy. But horns, we need him. And no, you, you, we don't need him. And then everyone else in my party, nothing. I mean, dang, level, level, level 33, you need arena. That's interesting. I don't think their abilities are even that great. Stats are good, but no. But the main show, the main star of the show. Let's see. What does he have? Uh, mild nature. Um, okay. Even doubt. Dang, he has even doubt. Um, physical stats. Rockhead. I think that's its only other good ability. I don't remember. Friends recoil damage. Tail whip. Stomp. Fairy attack. Well, really, stomp's the only good move it has. Um, Fury attack is obviously garbage, and it doesn't even know a ground type move because Gen 3 didn't treat Rhyhorn justice, in my opinion. So, yeah, he has to work with what he has. Mild ability. I'm gonna have to see if that's a good one. But other than that, next campaign. We still have one more, guys. That final spot down there has still has to be achieved. Based on timing, it may not happen for another episode, or maybe even two, but it will be coming up soon. Um, don't want to reveal that yet. I haven't, I don't think I elaborated too much on who that could be, but for now, we're gonna ignore it, because that's not the main priority. I could go back to the Safari Zone and see if I can catch any more Pokemon, but there's really no need. Uh, I'm gonna hope that Horns is good. So now that we have his replacement, I don't think there's anything he can, I can genuinely teach it. Is it? Might as well see. Uh, where? Dig? Can it learn Dig? Well, it won't learn a good earth ground type move until very late, so I might as well just teach it. I have no other option. I'm gonna get rid of Scary Face. I really don't like that move. I'd rather have Tail Whip. Surprise, surprise. And the next is. What's it? Oh, Rock Tomb. Uh, might as well. Might as well give it a Rock type move. And I'll get rid of Fury Attack, because that is useless and I'd rather have Stomp. Um, I'll save the other TMs for later, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, so it didn't take as much time as I thought, but we still have to make one pit stop, and that is to this house right here, the Safari Zone, the Warden's Home. So we go in here, I will say, if we didn't get the teeth earlier, I mean, we'll still see a little bit of it now, but I'll go ahead and show you when I speak to Oh, I, okay, it didn't, unfortunate, that's okay though. So the warden popped in his teeth. Oh, thanks son, you're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said, not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. And we received HM4. We received two HMs in one episode. Surf, and now is strength. It lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. Oh yes, did you find a secret house in the Safari Zone? Well, yeah we did, we were able to find it. So now with those TMs, I all right, I guess I'm learning more Pokes TMs now. So now that we have Surf and Strength, both good moves. Strength is of course just a normal type move with good physical power. Um, I definitely want Surf though. All right, I definitely want Surf. Uh, yeah, get rid of a move. Do I get rid of a TM that I just wasted on, or do I go ahead and? Confusion or speed? Slightly more power for less speed? Nah, I get rid of Swift. I probably should have kept it, but you know, it's fine. Uh, but strength. What did I teach strength to? You know what? I'll go ahead and just give it to Horns. I might as well. It may make a foe flinch. Oh yeah, true. Get rid of Tail Whip. Mm -mm. Don't want Tail Whip. Bye-bye. Having that flinching ability does help a lot more. Alright, and now we can move this boulder that has that Pokeball here. Normally we wouldn't be able to, but now we can. And I also got disappointed when I was trying to talk to the Warden because if you talk to him before getting the Gold Teeth, which I forgot to do myself, he speaks in Murms. He's like... And then, and then you have the, the dialogue box to pick yes or no, and you're like... Yes. No. Like, and you're just like... I don't understand. Oh, but a rare candy. Nice. That is an item I definitely want. I think I have like three rare candies now. Uh, okay. So, really the rest of this episode can be dedicated just to finishing up the last few trainers over here. Now that we have horns on our team now, he can at least help out Shuriken a little bit. So I'll go ahead. Uh, oh yeah, they're both right next to each other. Um, I'll let Shuriken take some of the hits first. Just because if I can get him to level 30, I will go ahead and just use the one rare candy I did get and take him over to level 31. That'll actually be a lot more easy. That'll be a lot easier for us to do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna have three digs do this. 
because honestly, I don't think I'm going to be planning on stepping back to the Safari Zone now, because we already did everything we needed to do there. We collect some of the items, we also got the Surf, and we got Horns. So everything that I wanted to do over there has been accomplished, and pretty much everything for today's majority of the episode has been done today. Uh, oh yeah, now that I have Horns for Rock, okay, I'm going I'm to just go ahead and take... Oh yeah, I have Surf now. I forgot I can use that now, it's a lot stronger. Uh, but I do want to level up Shuriken a little bit, so let me go ahead. Alright, there we go. It might take a little bit more increase, that's fine. I did a little bit more. Do Duo, okay. Now this is where I go ahead and take out Horns. He will handle those physical hits very excellently. And I will say, he is still quite decent. I think Horns evolves at like level 42, if I'm not mistaken. So honestly, he'll be Horns for quite a while. And I forgot Rock Tomb has pretty weak accuracy, so... Just gonna have to... I was about to say, come on. Horns, you're supposed to be my star, stop missing everything. Well, for now. Alright, now can I? Now can I go ahead and... Where is it? Where are my red candies? Oh, there are people. I have five! I have five, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use one right now on Shuriken. Alright, and then the next rare candy, I'll save that for now, I don't really need to use it. Uh, I don't know what I was doing, I was thinking, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to avoid him? I, I really wasn't even paying attention. He has Doduo today. No, Dodrio, I can't. I shouldn't do it though, alright. Uh, oh, it's speed fill. Does that mean something for me? No, it still has to be speed fill. Uh, no, I gotta heal because I don't trust it. Even though I do, uh, I do have better defense. Yeah, see, I would have probably got knocked out from that. Do duo. Okay, now it has do duo. I meant to say that earlier. Oh, of course, I got burned. I would have knocked it out too. Why is he so good? Why is this bird Pokemon so good? It might get knocked out. Oh, the confusion. Nice. Okay, that was actually a pretty difficult battle, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's still a decent amount of trainers left. There's still a few, so there's really not too much left. But I still want to clear them out real quick. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I can at least think about for the next episode, because... I think what I'm gonna do next is, at, now that I have horns, I will go ahead and just complete the rest of this section. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is... Okay, I have an idea now. So what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the trainers here for the majority of the time. If I don't, I'll go ahead and do that off screen. And the next episode, we will be heading over towards the opposite end of Celadon City and taking on the cycling road and challenging everyone there. That should be enough trainer battles and enough time for us to go ahead and start tackling on the Fuchsia Gym. That'll be the next thing we do. So I will go ahead and say this right off the bat. Next episode won't be the gym battle just yet. Um, still want to give some more minor preparations for our pokes, especially for Horn since he's the brand new one to the team. But after that, we should be good and set after the after the cycling road to go ahead and take on badge number five. But I do want to take care of some of this finished business first because I think that'll be in our best interest instead of just me going right off the bat here. Especially since the level gap is still not in my favor. I already brought this up once, but of course only Sword and really only three beaks are close to the level. Jolt is kind of there too. But Shuriken and Horns are nowhere near where they should be in order to take on the next gym. They are too far below. So I'm going to need to train them a lot more off behind the scenes. But I'll go ahead and take care of that next time. I'm not going to bother showing you guys just me training them the entire time. I mean, I technically am doing that now, but that's of course part of the episode. So you guys are going to have to stick with it just like I have to stick with it. So, no complaints. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start finishing off the few trainers here. And then I'll go ahead and start tackling on the cycling road next time. Yeah, I have confidence to do this battle. Okay, confidence gone. Confidence is gone. Wigglytuff is hit. Oh! Dang. Give me that. Come on, level up, level up, level up, level up. Should have been a level up. Alright. 
Oh yeah, these, these guys have psychic types. I mean, not psychic types. I meant to say, um, poison types. I don't know why I said psychic. Oh, I could have had horns. That, that was my fault. That was a mistake. If it's coughing next time, I'm gonna just have to take it over for wheezing. Why? Alright, sure can handle it. Handle it. Alright, there we go. So Shuriken is certainly ready to take on the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and save him there. And alright, horns, time to do show your stuff. Show you show me what you got. Hey kid, come on. I just got off the I just got these awesome loot. What? Why do you have that many pokes? This was supposed to be easy. Don't poison me either. This, did Stomp really do more? I'm mad. I'm really mad. Come on, coughing. Why do you have coughing? Have Grimer. No, not Weezing. The fact that he has these pokes at these levels is amazing. Trying to learn Pin Missile? A bug type move. Uh, out of everything we have, uh, fine, I'll get rid of Quick Attack. Pin Missile is obviously a bad move, it makes more sense in the first two gens than in this gen, but I'll still keep it. Yes, I know, I took out a priority move over Pin Missile. I know, you guys are probably like, why? The quick Attack has priority, that's obviously the better choice. Well, don't judge me. I make a lot of bad choices, and I'm the type of person that thinks harder, not smarter. Or works harder, not smarter, you see? Nothing up there. <laughs> Brain dead. Alright, I want to say that there are still a few more trainers up there. But with everything that we've done today, I will go ahead and end it off here because I do want to start those trainer battles there and make preparations for next episode that we take on the cycling road and have an evolution for sure again. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed. Just to recap, we visited the Safari Zone. We met a lot of wild Pokemon. We did catch a lot of Pokemon. We even met Chansey. Of course, our chances were very poor. I know, very poor. <coughs> and we couldn't catch it. Doesn't really matter what we're going to add it to our team. But we did get Horns, a valuable Pokemon in our team. It is going to be our Dig Dig replacement. But as, of course, with patience, we should be rewarded well with our training with him. And that'd be it. So guys, in the next episode, I'll go ahead and start making our way over to Cycling Road, Celadon City, and make more small, more small preparations before we can start taking on Fuchsia City Gym Leader Koga. I will see you guys then. Take care.